Smoke season is just about to begin and did they bring us the heat with that Power Book 3 trailer? It was raw, gritty and action filled which introduced us to Kanan in a bit of an innocence phase where he's going to learn the harsh realities of what it's going to be like hustling in the streets and if he wants to be a hustler then he's going to have to learn and he's going to have to learn very quickly from the likes of Raquel and Marvin and Kanan's role in this trailer is what we're going to dive deep into in this trailer analysis but this trailer also showed us it's going to be much more than just about Kanan. This story is going to paint the picture about Raquel, Marvin, Lulu and Jukebox with some of the early comments even saying this has to be the most street power of them all because even power had too many boring scenes with Simon Stern from Lucha Guy and SJ Smith saying Raquel and her brothers seem like older versions of the Tarda kids. Ghost saying this show looks better than Power Book 2 Ghost and the original series put together and it's something that we're gonna have to wait and see but honestly re-watching this trailer over and over again it had everything in terms of the main characters that are gonna play a center stage in this first season. The relationship between Kanan and Raquel, the battle in the streets between Raquel and Unique is definitely gonna be a must watch but in this video we're gonna break down the trailer even more so from what we saw from Kanan's point of view and what we saw from him in the trailer. So with that being said if you are new to the channel then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 3 related over the next coming months. But this story is just beginning to paint the whole picture about how Kanan grew up, wanted to hustle, wanted to be a hustler and the first parts of this trailer showed us how eager he is to get into the game and learn the inner workings of the family business and help his mom Raquel. When we're introduced to Kanan he's going to be 15 years old in 1991 in his hometown of Southside Jamaica Queens and I just want to start by breaking down his character and having a look at his character profile and this is the first of many character breakdowns and trailer analysis videos that I will be doing over the next few days and coming weeks in the lead up to Power Book 3 Raising Kanan's premiere. But just to run down through his family, we have his uncles Marvin and Lulu, we have his cousin Jukebox and of course his mother Raquel. But mainly, just like we saw in this trailer, Marvin and Lulu are going to be a few of many mentors for Kanan who I'm sure Kanan will spend a lot of time around as Marvin in his car told him that he's still in training, time to put them reps in. But Kanan's characteristics and personality is of course going to be different to what we saw in power. We have to set our expectations that this isn't the Kanan coming out of prison, making chess moves and knowing how to fight. This is Kanan who's going to be smart and ambitious and wanted to get into the hustle, but he's going to be very naive early on in the game. Even though he is eager to get out on the streets and hustle, just like we see him doing here in this little scene from the trailer and how he told Raquel that he wants to be a part of the family business and how he wants to get out on the corner of the streets in a previous teaser that we got a couple of months back and it tells us that he feels he's ready, he wants this life and he's choosing this life. So he is an ambitious kid who's accepting who he is very early on and he's going to have some complicated relationship as the show goes on and more so with his mom Raquel. But his character itself is described as smart, driven and still naive. Kanan's world revolves around his mother Raquel who raised him by herself. She's his everything and at the same time he is beginning to get a sense of not only the world around him but his place in the world. Kanan wants to be just like his mother and that's the problem. He's young and wide open and doesn't know how the hustle works and even more important his mother is not nearly as keen for him to follow in her footsteps. There's a complicated relationship that not only gets more problematic as time goes on. So as I said he's gonna have a complicated relationship with his mother Raquel with majority of his character description being taken up with his relationship with his mother and from the trailer we know it's gonna play a huge role as we had Kanan telling Raquel at the beginning of the trailer that he wanted to help and learn the inner workings of the business and come full circle. At the end of the trailer Raquel finally accepting Kanan for who he is and who he's gonna become. Raquel will realize that Kanan is heading in one direction and he's gonna do it either with or without her help and sooner or later she'll realize that it's best if she helps Kanan and mentors him along the way but it's gonna be met with some resistance at first just like we saw in the trailer with Raquel telling Kanan that these are the streets they don't play and she keeps on having to tell Kanan the same thing but Kanan just doesn't want to hear it. Kanan wants to get involved and he's eager to get involved with Raquel telling him that look you pull the trigger you win it and then there's no turning back and at first I was really scared that first we may just have a very slow build up in the first season similarly to the way we saw Snowfall how it was very slow in his first season but this trailer proved me wrong and it's gonna have everything associated with power from drugs to crime violence death sex and Kanan will be in the thick of the action with his mother and he wants to be just like her and that's the problem he's not Raquel he's not Marvin not yet anyway there's a huge difference to the Kanan that we saw in power to the Kanan that we're gonna see in raising Kanan grow to be because he's going to be naive, he's going to be making some mistakes as, as he goes along. He's going to have to go through a troublesome time just like we saw in this scene here where he's being attacked by masked men, being held at gunpoint. It's actually Marvin his uncle who comes to his rescue and absolutely savagely rams his car straight into whoever this is. I'm sure we'll find out who it is but Marvin is going to be a somewhat protector to Kanan and so will Raquel. Raquel warned Kanan that these streets don't play and he's already being shot at, being sprayed full of bullets in a drive-by shooter outside his house where his mom Raquel locks and loads a gun and comes out to his aid. It's not always going to be that way though, at some point we're going to see Kanan having to protect his mother as well because they're going to protect each other just like we saw to 
Tariq and Tasha do with each other in Power and Power Book 2 Ghost is a similar relationship that we're gonna see from Kanan and Raquel. But Kanan entering the streets at 15, he's gonna have to learn fast because he's learning from his mom Raquel, he's gonna learn from Marvin and he's gonna learn something from Lulu as well. He's gonna have all of these teachers around him and if he pulls a trigger, he's in it. We saw him draw a gun here in this scene and with one of the guys from his crew, no doubt he's got himself in some beef on the corners, could be over territory, could even be some beef with Unique's boys, could be anything, we'll have to wait and see. We see a glimpse of Kanan with his crew in a couple of shots and a scene with Kanan running out of school with Jukebox and we never really saw anything in terms of their relationship in this trailer but it's definitely something that we're gonna have to watch because they had a close relationship as they grew up. In season 3 of, uh, of uh, Power when we were introduced to Jukebox, she mentioned to Kanan that she was his first call when he dropped his first body and they really confided in each other. So who did Kanan drop as his first body? Will we see it in the first season? I think we will more so towards the end but let's wait and see. Now Kanan is also gonna have some love interest as well. With a character called Davina, she's someone who we saw properly in a previous teaser when 50 Cent released his music video part of the game and I'm sure it was her in this middle of this fight scene at the school too as well. Kanan's gonna have to be very careful around her because it looks as if she may just be talking to the enemy of Raquel which was mentioned by Jalil as I was talking to him after the trailer was released on Instagram. So Kanan really does have to be careful when it comes to his love interest and the trust of other people. But the trailer ends with Raquel accepting Kanan for who he is and who he's about to become, giving a gun to Kanan, teaching Kanan how to shoot and that's where the trailer ends with Raquel and Kanan and mainly Kanan's role in this trailer. But we are going to witness the rise of Kanan just like how in Power Book 2 Ghost we're seeing the rise of Tariq St. Patrick. In Power Book 3 Raising Kanan it's going to be all about Kanan. And Malik Smith too said I want to see how quickly he'll have evolved into his character. I mean that stone cold take no prisoners type of mentality that he had in power. And Kanan in season 1 he's going to be a completely different character as he builds up his knowledge and hustle over the course of spending his time in the streets with his teachings and learnings that he's going to get from Marvin, Lulu and Scrappy and Raquel and many more mentors along the way. The rise of Kanan is going to be something spectacular and it's already been teased in such a short clip trailer that we got yesterday. But as I said his rise won't come easy and it's going to be a tough road for him and going back to Smith's comment I do feel his character will evolve very quickly because this is power. It's going to have everything we associate with the original power series but just even more grittier and we're going to be there all the way watching this how he does this. So with that being said if you're new to the channel then remember to smash the subscribe button. If you want to see everything power book 3 raising Kanan related over the next couple of months with reviews breakdowns and storyline breakdowns but as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time